statements begin in just a few hours. In the case of a Venice family suing John Hopkins All Children's Hospital for hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah, the alleged malpractice suit is the focus of a Netflix documentary released back in June, detailing the family's hospital experience and accusations of child abuse. 10 Tampa Bay's Andrea Lyon live for us this morning in St. Pete, where the family's story began. Hey, good morning, Caitlin and Frank. Yeah, the family is asking John Hopkins, all children's here in St. Pete for $220 million in damages, saying the hospital got it wrong when they brought their then 10 year old daughter to the ER in 2016. And here's their story. The Kowalski's uh, family drove their 10 year old daughter Maya to the ER. She was in terrible pain at the time. This was in 2016 again. The pain coming from a diagnosis in which Maya was already being treated for and given doses of ketamine as a part of her recommended treatment plan. According to the lawsuit, the family says hospital staff accused Maya's mother of child abuse Munchausen syndrome by proxy, claiming she was over treating her. The then 10 year old was separated from her mother for nearly 90 days, still in pain. And during this time, her mother did commit suicide. Side. Now, because of the widespread coverage of this case, including this documentary, jury selection last week was kept extremely quiet in order to not taint the trial process. But as opening statements get underway today, Law 360, a legal journal, does report the Kowalski family attorney, Greg Anderson, is confident the jury will agree Maya was not abused and the hospital tried to force the family to agree with its misdiagnosis. In a statement from the hospital, they say our staff are required by law to notify Florida's Department of Children and Families if they suspect abuse or neglect. It is DCF and a judge, not John Hopkins All Children's Hospital, that investigates the situation and makes the ultimate decision about what course of action is in the best interest of the child. Now, the trial does get underway just at 9 a.m. this morning down in Venice and ahead at 6.30. I'll be talking about uh, the evidence the hospital is expected to present over the next several weeks. Live in St. Pete, Andrea Lyon, 10 Tampa Bay.